Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful spring. Finally, the weather in Kansas City is starting to be more springish and we're starting to get buds in our trees. Well, anyway, I got some birthday money for Blick and I thought I would share my little birthday haul with you. So the main star of the show are these Radiant Concentrated Watercolors by Dr. Martin. So I haven't seen anybody actually talk about these. That's not to say that they're new. I really don't know. I just am very unfamiliar with them. And I wanted to get a nice watercolor spring palette. The other palette I have that I pre-made, it's more for landscapes. And I wanted these really bright pops of teals and pinks and purples for a florals, really. And I don't do a lot of florals, but I'm going to start trying. And I asked the lady at Blick what the difference between this and their other liquid watercolors were. These are really concentrated, of course, and these are dye-based, and the other liquid watercolors in the Dr. Martin's range are pigment-based. Now, I was also told that these are good for other things. You can color eggs with them if you want, and you can actually dye fabric if you're into that. You don't get much here, but she says a little bit goes a long way. Um, so I'm really excited to give these a try to make my new spring florals pop. Now, I did get 10 of these, so let me turn you around and get to swatching these neat new products. Here are all my bottles. Aren't they beautiful? And as you can see, I tried to pick some very bright spring-summer colors for florals. I think they're gorgeous bottles, so let's look at them first. Let's pick out a nice blue. They, of course, are concentrated, so you get a smaller bottle compared to some of these. Now, the Eco Line, these are really good liquid watercolors. I only have a couple, and I do like them. But as you can tell, the bottle is much bigger, so these just these are going to display a little nicer. But I do enjoy the stopper tops. Now here is another brand by Dale Arani. This is the Aquafine Watercolor Ink. Um, I'm going to say these are probably going to be comparable. I found the inks to be a little more opaque and not as transparent, but that's just, I haven't used them a whole lot. Then we have the Graphics Aqua Ink by Marabou. This is another watercolor ink. I don't like the way that these are packaged. So you have to get a little pipette, get your color out. What do you do with the pipette afterwards? You set it on your table, it rolls away, then you've got aqua ink all over your table. So I, I don't really care for the packaging of these. I tend not to use them just because of that. So I'm pretty excited about these. Nice size with a dropper, perfect. So I went ahead and swatched these out already because I wanted to see how vibrant they were when they were dry. Of course, everything looks nice and vibrant when it's wet. So I swatched these yesterday, give them a nice chance to fully dry. And here is what we're left with. Now, I just picked colors according to the labels, which was a little hard. If I had to go back and redo it, I wouldn't get both of these pinks. These are very close. The ice pink is just barely a little lighter. Cherry red was quite intense, but I might have been able to get away with just this and not have to buy this tropical pink. I thought this was going to be a little more purple, but with these, I can mix very pretty purples. So yeah, I have a couple colors I wish I had picked differently, but that's uh, the way it goes when you're, when you can't really swatch it out in store. I'm pretty happy with it though. I wanted to compare them a little bit to some of these new Daniel Smith watercolors I got. Well, I got the dot card. I guess I didn't get these watercolors. Now, of course, this is laminated, and I do that because I'm a mully grub, and I get paint and just stuff all over everything in my art studio. Um, so I decided to laminate this to keep it nice and pristine. So the colors look just a slight bit more vibrant when, thing, when it's been laminated. But these look pretty vibrant to me, the Dr. Martin's, the Dr. P.H. Martin's colors. And it just took a minute bit to make these swatches. I mean, the amount you used to get this much color was amazing. Hence the name, Radiant Concentrated, right? Which I was pretty impressed with the color payoff with these. 
Okay, so today what we're going to test out, I went ahead and put a drop of each of these colors in my porcelain palette here. I wanted to see how they re-wet. It was important that these were able to be re-wet pretty decently, so I didn't waste any. So I'm going to try that for you today, and then we're going to see what kind of movement it gets on your paper. Nothing special or spectacular. We're just going to play with the liquid watercolors and see how they move around. All right, let's give these a nice spray. Okay, all right, let's try them out without adding a whole lot of water. Well, it looks like it reactivated pretty well. Oh yeah. See, and it might have just been a little bit left and it had a little more water. Oh, yeah. These re-wet just fine, don't they? Okay, I'm going to get some water down on the paper and see what these do with a wet-on-wet -wet situation. This is uh, my little doodle, dry. Let me get you up close so you can see how the colors reacted and what they did. I'm pretty pleased with the way the colors moved and blended and did their own thing. Yeah, especially that neat purple I made there in the middle. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this piece, but I'm going to do something neat with it because I can't let this go to waste. I might make some kind of fairy meadow scene. Who knows? But you never let your doodles go to waste. Well, here you go. Here is a quick first impression of the Dr. P.H. Martin's Radiant Concentrated Watercolor. I think I'm going to have a wonderful time playing with these this spring, making some fresh bouquets. Look at those greens. It's going to be a great time. Anyway, if you have these let me know down below how you uh, are getting along with them i'm pretty interested i know these have been out for a little while but i haven't seen too many people talk about them so yeah i'd like to know what you think and i will see you in my next video guys bye